Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to learn about inference for experiments. Alright, so a completely randomized design is, the ex is when the experimental units are assigned to the treatments or the treatments to the experimental units completely at random. Statistically significant is when an observed difference in the response between the groups in an experiment are so large that it is unlikely to be explained by chance variation in the random assignment. All right, an example of a completely randomized design. In Miss Tierney's class, 30 student volunteers, 30 students volunteer to participate in an experiment to determine if chewing mint gum is a test during a test will increase their scores on the test. Miss Tierney will provide mint gum for half the students while the other half will not chew gum. The same test will be given to every student. The response variable is the student's test scores. Outline a completely randomized design for this experiment. All right, so we're starting with 30 volunteer students. We're gonna use random assignment to break them into two groups. So we have group one, group two, each group's gonna have 15 students. Group one's gonna get treatment one, which is the mint gum. Group two is going to get treatment two, which is no gum. And then I am going to compare the mean test scores. All right. Uh, the purpose of random assignment. To see if fish oil can help reduce blood pressure, males with high blood pressure were recruited and randomly assigned to different treatments. Seven of the men were randomly assigned to a four-week diet that included fish oil. Seven other men were assigned to a four-week diet that included a mixture of oils that approximated the type of fats in a typical diet. At the end of the four weeks, each volunteer's blood pressure was measured again and the reduction in diastolic blood pressure was recorded. These reductions are shown in the table. Note that a negative value means that the subject's blood pressure increased. Outline a completely randomized design for this experiment. As we have 14 volunteer men, we used random assignment to break them up into two groups. Group one has seven men, group two has seven men, group one is going to get the fish oil, group two is going to get the mixture, and we are going to compare changes in blood pressure. All right, part B, calculate the mean reduction for each group and the difference in the mean reduction, fish, fish oil minus mixture. So the mean for fish oil, I took 8, 12, 10, 14, 2, 0, and 0, added them up, and divided by 7. I got 6.57. Um, and then the mean, x bar for mixture, I added them up and divided by 7. I got negative 1.14. Okay. So the difference in the mean reduction, fish oil minus the mixture, is 7.71. All right, so now part C, 100 trials of a simulation were performed to see what differences in the means are likely to occur due to chance variation in the random assignment, assuming that the type of oil doesn't matter. Use the results of the simulation below to determine if the difference in means from question two is statistically significant. So essentially they took those numbers that we had and they just kind of shuffled them up and randomly assigned uh, seven of the outcomes to the fish oil group, seven to the mixture group, got the mean uh, difference, fish oil minus mixture, and put that as a dot on here. Then they did it again. They shuffled them up, randomly assigned seven to fish oil, seven to mixture, and found the mean difference. So these are the simulated difference in mean reduction based off of our um, sample that we had. Um, so here's where 7.71 would be and above I kind of just drew an arrow. So because a difference of means of 7.71 or greater rarely occurs in the simulation, 2 out of the 100 or 2 percent, the difference is statistically significant. It is unlikely that a difference this big would occur simply due to chance variation in the random assignment. Okay so it wasn't uh, due to chance, it was due to the fact that the fish oil actually did reduce uh, their blood pressure. Okay, so it wasn't just a chance variation. All right, go Seahawks.